Hi, in this tutorial video, we'll walk through how you can utilize the numeric column to add grades from work your students are doing outside of the My Language Lab. The steps we're about to go over will apply to any My Language Lab gradebook. As a reminder, you can use the numeric column to add grades and post scores for work the student does outside of the My Language Lab. You can create as many numeric columns as you'd like and you can name them whatever you'd like. This video will show how to create these columns and enter in scores for students in a numeric column. Click Create Column and choose Numeric. You can now give your numeric column a name. Some examples of why you would use a numeric column is if you wanted to post grades from work um, a student did when they turned in an in-class paper quiz, an in-class paper test, um, attendance, class participation, a final exam score that they turned in in class, a group project, or anything like that. You can enter a numeric column for. So let's do one for a paper quiz. Quiz one. And again, I'm only using a numeric column for my quizzes because I'm having my students take them with a paper. If I was doing online quizzes, I would not need to create a numeric column. Online quizzes and online tests are already have their own column in your gradebook. I'm going to click Save, and the column is now created in my gradebook. You'll notice that the column is crossed out. What this means is that currently this column is not available to your students. It's hidden. If you would like to show the column to the student, all you'll need to do is choose the options arrow and choose Show for Student. The page will refresh and the numeric column will no longer be crossed out. At any time, you can go back and hide for student again. You can then create more columns. And so you would make a numeric column for each grade you want to enter for a student. I'm going to create three quiz columns. I'm going to enter quiz two. And notice that I can choose where I'd like to insert this column. It will automatically be set to enter as column one after your built-in average column. If you would like to have this quiz column appear after the other columns you have on your gradebook page, then you'll need to change the column number in the box provided. And I'm going to change this to three and click save. After I've created my three quizzes, I may want to now add a numeric column for the final exam that the students are going to be taking with paper in my classroom. So I'm going to choose numeric again and now type in final exam and click save and again adjust my columns if I would like to. And so now I also have a final exam column. And again, I could create as many numeric columns as I'd like, labeling them as I wish for each grade I'd like to post. You can tell if it's a numeric column in your gradebook because it'll have the N underneath the options arrow. To enter in grades for a numeric column, there are two options. You can always hover your mouse over a particular student's grade position in that column and choose the options arrow and do edit grade this way. You could then enter in the value so if the in-class quiz was worth 50 points, put 50 in the denominator, and now you can give the grade that you awarded the student on their quiz. And then you can click Update. Please know that you can leave a comment for your student that the student would see, and they would get a little icon next to this grade to alert them that there is a comment from their instructor. This is a completely optional feature, but do know that your students would be alerted to your comment and would be able to read it. Click Update, and you now have a grade recorded for that student for that particular activity that was done outside of the My Language Lab. If you would like to enter in grades for more than one student at a time, you can use the arrow at the top of the column header and choose Edit Grades. This will open up a window where you would see a series of boxes for your students where you could enter in the grades for each student in the box.
And so just imagine other boxes listed here. You could type in uh, grades for students. You can also leave boxes empty. And you can also leave comments for students individually. Again, they would also see these comments and be alerted that they had a comment as well. When you're done, you can click Save and your grades will be updated for any students you entered a grade for. This concludes how to create a numeric column in your online gradebook. Please know that you can also create a calculated column if you would like to get an average of numeric columns in your gradebook. Please watch the next video on how to create a calculated column for steps on how to do that.